Hey guys, welcome back to our video, and today I will be teaching you guys how to backflip. So, just to make sure you guys should be in general shape and stuff, and yeah, let's go right into it. So what you're going to start off with doing is just a few test jumps, like that. Do that about five times maybe, and then you're going to move on to tuck jumps. So, you might have to practice with tuck jumps a little bit more, just like... Keep on doing that. That was a bad one, but you get the idea. So, do that. And then, um, you guys can't see me because I'm afraid, but just um, practice like rolling the look and just rolling back. Do that like 10 times, 10, 15 times. So you, you know the feel to get back. And all right, let's get into the actual like back slash back handspring. So do that, make sure you have your head thing, have everything, and put like a pad down to make sure that you're safe. I don't want to be sued. But it's okay if most people's back flips look like this at first. Like that's normal. That is totally normal. That's what I looked like when I started, first started trying back flips. But what you're gonna do, I call this a macaco. Well, I name it, but like lots of people know it's a macaco. But like you go to one side you're comfortable with, and just kind of throw it off of that side. Like, uh, I'm more comfortable with my right side, I mean my left side. So just do that until it changes into a back handspring. And you might land on your knees a few times. It won't hurt, and like it depends what type of pattern you have. But usually it won't hurt, so just like kind of like go into a back handspring. Go into a back handspring. I'm not really good at back handsprings. I like do back flips. So yeah, just do that a few times. Do back handsprings. And try to jump a little bit more. So try to stay safe and not hurt your hands. But then you're gonna get to tuck. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna not gonna go like this that low. You're gonna go like when you set the back flip, you're gonna be like this low. Swing your arms up to the sky. And then like kind of like swing back. Try to go straight up, not back. Well, you are going back. Just try to get all that momentum. And if that helps you, this always help means take a step forward and then step back so you get more momentum and height. So keep on doing that. And you guys should be doing it outdoors, but it's snowing outside, so yeah, I'm doing it inside. So like grass is softer, but you know, you might land on your knees a few times. That's okay. I sure did. But you're gonna land on your knees a few times, it's not gonna hurt. So progress from the mat, and then once you do it from the ground onto the mat, that's when you should, should start putting like pillows down. So I'm just gonna move this mat, I'm gonna put pillows down. Get a couple of pillows. And then just do it from there. Yeah, just also like make sure you have enough height also is one of the big ones. Always make sure you have enough height. And if when you land on the pillows, I would just recommend full sending it, but always make sure that you're safe. So just try to land on the pillows. See, you landed on the pillows there. Doesn't really hurt. And then once you land on the pillows, do that a few times. Make sure you got it good. And then, you know, take away the pillows. This shouldn't be too hard if you already land on the pillows. Just puts up more height, so yeah. Also, this is a backflip in five minutes and less video. So yeah, step back, through our way, just throw out, go straight up. Try not good to go too far back in. All together, backflip should be pretty good. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to comment, subscribe, and like for more videos like this. Do more tutorials and flip videos, and yeah, catch you on the flip side.